So today we are going to discuss the different parts of a flower. So what are flowers? Um, flowers are the visible part of the reproductive system of a plant. Um, we're not going to be discussing the entire plant today, just the flower. So the parts of the flower, um, there are many different parts of the flower that are uh, serving different purposes. And again, we're not going to be talking about the parts of the whole entire plant, just the flower. Can anyone tell me the different parts of the flowers, if anyone knows any? If not, that's okay, we're going to learn today, but no? Okay. So there's the petal, the sepal, the stamen, and the pistil. So the petal. Um, the petal is the part of the flower that has the color, and it visually attracts people, insects, birds, and other animals that will help to disperse and create more flowers, eventually. Can anyone tell me any different colors of flowers they know? So we have blue flowers, red flowers, orange flowers, and yellow flowers. So we have the stamen, and the stamen is the pollen-producing part of the flower. There's two different parts in this, to the stamen. There's the anther and the filament. And the stamen, since it produces the pollen, if anyone has any pollen allergies, like I know I do, I am allergic to daisies, so I can blame the, sta the stamen for my daisy allergies. So now we have the sepal, and the sepal is the outer part of the flower. Um, this is like the outer bud, and the bud happens right before the flower blooms. You have a little, little flower bud. And we have the pistil, and the pistil is the ovule, like the egg. The egg is known as the ovule, and it is the producing part of the egg, producing part of the flower. Um, I really want to keep it, you to keep in mind that the pistil is not the egg or the ovule of the flower. It produces the egg and the ovule. Okay, and now to talk about like presenter's notes. Um, for the first one, in the beginning slide, I stated that it should be a quick lesson to introduce different parts of the flowers. For the second presenter's note, I said make it clear that we are just talking about flowers and not the whole part. For this slide, my comments are before clicking, ask the students if they can name any parts of the flower. For this one, I wanted to uh, the presenter to know that before clicking and letting all the flowers be shown, that they should definitely ask the students what type of flower, what color flowers they have seen. Then with the stamen, I said um, explain that the pollen comes from the part of the flower, and explain that you know if anyone has pollen allergies, that this is the part that they have to blame. So in the sepal, I just wanted to make sure that the presenter mentions this is what happens right before, this is what the student, or this is what anyone will see right before the flower actually blooms. And for the last, the pistil, um, I just wanted to make sure that it's known that the pistil isn't the actual egg or the ovule of the flower, but it's what produces the egg and the ovule. And that's it.